King's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Deberson, Classical Main Line, 8.E4C69.B3. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be Fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. This allows the knight to control more squares. This protects the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. It falls flat. That's fine. It is good. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop by placing it on the long diagonal. It is an inaccuracy. That's a decent move. That's good. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This threatens to win material. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. A rook is lost as a result. It is incorrect. That's fine. It is good. That's a decent move. That's good. This is how you win a bishop's favor. It is quite good. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. This is how you impress a queen. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game.